Quilts. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Today is our annual festival of quilts, fabric and goodness haul. And I think between the two of us, we spent about 700 quid again. Me being spending the most, you spent, you, you did spend about 300 quid, I think. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, so, probably. Yeah. But, We've got lots and lots of goodies to show you. Where do you want to start? Maybe here. That's it's, right in front of you. Here. Yeah. So this is from UK Alpaca and it's basically our yearly kind of what cone shall we have this time. And this one's definitely me, more for me and near, isn't it? It's a double knit. And not my colours at all. Which I find really bizarre because holding up against your skin tone, it looks lovely on, mm -hmm. on her. On her it but is. I'm no, not going to. Grey hair, it might be. I'm not going to complain though because it means that Nia and I will get a mm -hmm. jumper each out of this, won't we? Oh, there'd be enough for three in there. Yeah. Well, Nia's going to have the really big one, mm -hmm. and then I'm probably going to get a jumper and a cardigan, aren't I? Mm -hmm. My little, my little ones, because Nia's going to have like your terracotta. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but that's from UK Alpaca, and I will try and list as many of these shops in the description box down below as I possibly can. So, yes, pretty. So, Mum, Mum was very organised. <laughs> And packed up your wool and knitting for you to before you left, didn't you? Yes. And then you forgot to take it with you, so we needed to get Mum some knitting. You only, have, <laughs> you only had one evening of not having any knitting, didn't you? So we had to get some wool. So we've got this kind of petroly, tealy coloured blue, and then this white fluffy chenille, chenille type stuff. They're both chunky, and you can't really tell from this one. But I'm going to insert a picture. It's going to be the octopus. Embrace the octopus jumper that I've been asking mum for for two years now I think yes. and it's going all right I've managed to avoid it until now <laughs> yeah well you shouldn't have forgotten your knitting no really not no so that was that was purchased on the first day as well so the needles the wool it's a very energetic knit you have to keep wrapping the stuff around yeah and following the chart <laughs> yes but it is just knit isn't it it's not Oh, interesting yes. actual knitting no, no but it's in keeping you engaged because you need to remember what you're doing <laughs> but it's going to be a beautiful jumper when it's done so oh. thank you for that mm. but yeah you also found yay yeah. <laughs> uh, they're from uh, Toft yes so they're alpaca pom-poms and they're going to be on the bobbles on hats one for my friend Anne she wanted another one but I couldn't remember which colour so I didn't get the wool and what possibly for me for walking the dog? I think you should. Yeah. So whilst we are, oh, I was going to say whilst we, there we go. There's um, a lady called, it's bugart.co.uk and I buy cards from her every year as do you I think. And they're just beautiful. So I've got the giraffe, the flamingos, the fox and the butterfly cat. And they're, and they're actually original embroideries and um, applique arts and then she takes prints of them to make into cards. And I've, I, I always buy some and always send them out to different people over the, over the years. So it's always nice to sort of see. It's, she's at every show, isn't she? Yes, really? she is. She is. Yeah. So I always stock up at those. And you've got... I've got a lovely owl for my friend whose um, secret animal is an owl. Oh yeah, mum, mum found the, or, uh, Mum's friend found this thing, that, this, this quiz that you do to see what your inner animal is. <laughs> and hers was an owl, and mine was a, mine's a hummingbird, and then yours was a turtle. Turtle, and she didn't like that, so she did it again. Came out as butterfly. <laughs> Much happier with that. Weird. <laughs> and that's a secret one. Don't let Sean see it. I've got that one. Ah, you've got it already. I've got that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Uh, what else have you got there? I saw this and I thought it was a really good idea because I um, actually have put some quilting um, batting into the handbag. Shoulder handles, straps. Yes. This is Bosal in our foam on a roll shoulder strap cushioning. And we do make a lot of bags really, really, don't we? that seems a much better we? idea. Yes. So, and then yeah. that's usually about the size we do. Isn't yeah. It? I so think that would work. We'll give it a go. Mm. 10 inch, 10 yards, one inch wide. Hmm. So, yeah. And it does, it makes it more cushioned. Yeah, comfortable more comfortable to use. We were meant to get all the interfacing and stuff for the Chris W Designs Luna bag, but we, the, the, there were a few stores that were doing interfacing there, but they had really big queues at them. So it was one mm. of those ones where it was just like, oh, let's just buy it online. Mm -hmm. We'll get it from So Hot, but that's, we're gonna be doing that, uh, the Luna bag together because mum wants hand luggage as well as me. Speaking of bag making, I got myself uh, the kit from 
Lisa Chandler and it is the same knitting bag that mum's made in the black and green but I got the cream and green mm -hmm. um, kit and she took the pattern out because she was like oh mum's already got the pattern you don't need that do you so she took the pattern out and took four quid off the price it's like thank you Yay. so I have, I have bag making kits it is a lovely bag it is a lovely bag I think we might need to do the buttons at the end mm -hmm. Because you've got a lot of buttons there. Yeah. Yeah, I can't leave her unsupervised around button shops clearly. No, nope. boring stuff first. <laughs> <laughs> but very essential. A new Ulfa. Um, yeah, you'd lost the spring. Yeah, I'd lost the spring in my mine and I, the wheel wobbles. Yeah, I couldn't see that they have any spare springs, but I thought well, if I get this, I can use the spring in both. And um, they, you get one free blades, and then I bought two more. Because I use a lot. Yes, that was from Barn Yarns, wasn't it? Yeah. I like Barn Yarns. They're good. And uh, I got myself a rotary cutter. <laughs> you know how I've been banging on about the pretty one? I got the pretty one. I should be using that for cutting out NCWs. Talk me next. Yeah. Right? You might need to let me go for a few though, because yeah, I've got quite you carry yeah, on. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. So uh, the very first, I, I actually went with the list. I was really organised this year. I went with the list, and um, I didn't get most of it because most of the stuff that I wanted from the list wasn't there, uh, because the company still had it. But they were most of my list was geared towards autumn and winter, and they were still like, it's summer. I'm like yeah, but it takes a while to sew stuff. By the time I finished, it will be autumn. But the one of the things, or one of the things on my list was uh, stretch denim from Empress Mills, and if you got there before 11 a.m., mm -hmm. you got a 10% discount as well. So I wanted teal, and I actually wanted brown, but they didn't have any brown, and I saw this really pretty green. So I have uh, this turquoisey blue and this emerald green stretch denim, and I've got three meters of each, which they do sell on their website for $24.50 for three meters, and this is the perfect fabric for the ginger jeans. And I have this in red as well, but I wanted um, some other colors because I like colored jeans and I can see myself wearing them, and I am making the ginger jeans this year. So yes, I now have more colors so that I'm not gonna be precious about the one fabric that I've got. If it goes wrong, then it's, it's all horrible, so yes. Ginger jeans, that's what these are destined to be. Is that the same? No. no. So yeah, this denim is from Higgs and Higgs, and I've got two meters of this, and this is non-stretch denim, so there's no stretch in there at all. I got this for the Gertie denim jacket, and I plan on, it's a, it's a lined jacket, so I'm not sure what lining I'm gonna use yet, but it's gonna be bright and you know me. Um, so nice bright jacket, but I wanted a, I wanted a little denim jacket. So I love my dear and die looping jacket that I have in the very lightweight denim, but I wanted a classic traditional denim jacket. So and I, I really like dark denim. So I thought, given given the amount of colourful bright prints I have as well, mm. colourful mm. bright jackets are not really sensible. Mm. So yes, denim denim for a denim jacket. <laughs> There's so much stuff, it's overwhelming. This next one is a fabric by Lisa Chandler and um, Mum and I are huge fans of hers mm -hmm. and it was really nice to see her at the show again. And it's a quilting cotton, it's called Under the Australian Sun and I bought this colourway and Mum got this colourway. Yes, so uh, cream, gold and black for mum and then the sort of brighter Christmas, this is definitely Christmassy colours isn't yes, it? Yes, Christmassy yeah, colours for yeah. me. I think we've got three and a half metres of each and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing with mine but it's definitely going to be a shirt dress of some description I think. Do you think you're going to turn yours into a sweetheart dress again or do you want something a bit different? I might do something a bit different, mm. yeah. I don't know. It's a very pretty dress. It's lovely. Though. Really nice. If I was a very, very rich person, I would uh, have bought every single fabric that she Gorgeous. has ever done. I'd make a quilt with it yeah. as well. It's beautiful fabric. It's cool. It's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I think there's 20, I remember I was overhearing her, there's 22 designs in the Under the Australian Sun range. Um, and it, <laughs> she does she does great things like, so she d that does the toning fabrics as well that go with it. And this is a stripy one. Um, but then, and then there's all the different colourways that she does, so yeah. So with the leftovers, we will then make either necessary clutch wallets or bags or... Mm. Some kind of, something. some kind of bag, yes. Yeah. But I'm really pleased with this one, I love it so much, I think it's really pretty. These will need to be washed, we haven't done that yet. We're, 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 we're doing this first, and then washing later. Right, so the next one, you guys will recognise this. I got this from Lady So and So. They, I bought the original fabric from them last year. I've made the 8577 uh, skirt from this. 
and I really wanted a shirt that would match it so I've got two meters of this this print oh no what a meter and a half and I think I'm going to do the 6696 tie front shirt that I've done mm. but without mm. sleeves mm -hmm. um, but I, I just really like the idea of, of wearing it because I haven't worn the skirt yet because I don't have the right top to wear it with I need to make some more tops but I bought some more of this print because I just love it it's a calf facet yes safe acid that's how you say it calf acid calf facet yeah. uh print a shell bouquet and it was from lady so and so it's beautiful yeah they had loads there and i was really good because i have two other of his prints in my stash and i didn't look at anything else because i was just like nope behave i have so many quilting cottons i do not need any more but this one i knew i, want, I knew exactly what i wanted to do with this one i'm so tempted to make a calf facet quilt i've joined their group on facetime uh, Facebook. Looking, Facebook, sorry, looking at all the things people are doing. Mm. Fabulous. It, there was a couple of show quilts that were up on display yes. that we had his fabrics yes. on them. They're just so beautiful. Mm. So, so beautiful. Wonderful fabric. Yeah. You're really lucky you got this one actually. You got your hands on this one first. Mm -hmm. So, this is from M. Rosenberg and Son, and um, I found she it. She found it. <laughs> and I hung on to it. Yes. <laughs> she, she, she was like showing other people the bolt. She had the bolt in her hand. She was showing other people the bolt. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's lovely. And she was like, yes. And then she turned around and she was like, you can have it when I finish with it. <laughs> and then went, can I have five meters, please? And then all these little little faces were just like, oh. <laughs> oh. But yeah, no, I, I, I might steal that from you. No. No. <laughs> it's definitely my colors, not yours. It look, really, really suits me, look. <laughs> it does actually. Yeah. It suits me better. <laughs> <laughs> she won't even let me hold on to it to display it. So you bought five metres of this. What are, you, what are you thinking? Well, I don't know. I was thinking one of them. Those lovely dresses, the Vogue. Mm, yeah, 577. Seven. Mm. Yeah. But I ought to do something different. Yes. But I don't know what would suit the material. So. Because it's quite a heavyweight. Um, it, it is it's a linen, kind of linen. linen viscose, wasn't mm. it? Like your mm. uh, your original, one. yeah, your yeah. original one in the summer screen that yeah. you did. She was wearing that the first day and walked up to the M. Rosenberg store and they were like, "You look lovely." She's <laughs> like, "I bought this fabric from you. Where's the white stuff?" And he's like, "Email me. I might have a bolt somewhere." Yeah, they don't. Gonna find it. They don't. We've we've, we've oh. tried to we've tried to buy it five times yeah. from them and I've got. I've got it on a bolt and I'm lucky that I, that's still in intact and not turned into a dress for mum. Um, no. Who is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I don't I don't trust you. Did you not see the comments on, yeah, on yeah, Nia's yeah, stash? I did, I did, yeah. Nia's having to double check her stash to make sure it's all still there after we've left. No, I don't trust you, so no. Uh, I mean I do, but no. Um, so unless I can have this one. No. Nope. There we go then. See, see, I really like that one. See, see, yeah. No, I think it looked lovely as an eight five seven seven. We can experiment with other for other patterns, mm. just not with this fabric. No. I'm going to make no, something no. That you know yeah. you like with this fabric because yeah. I don't want you upset at the end going, Ugh, but it's not what I wanted. So that's this really what pretty. I do a lot. Yes, but I, I do only let you do that with an expensive... The right. amount of times I've walked down to the house and caught her ironing something and she's like, I'm going to make this. I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're really not. No, stop it. Oh, this one. This one, Touch TV, needs to be a thing. This is from Lily Stores. And it's like... It feels like moleskin, doesn't it? Mm. Vel velvet. Mm. It's polyester. And they had it in this colourway and then a more blue-grey colourway. I was very tempted by the blue-grey, but I the stuff that I want to make for myself this autumn, I want it to be kind of these more, more warm tones, uh, she says with, with a really grey background. But I plan on making myself a three-quarter circle skirt with this. Um, it's quite a nice weight, it's a heavy mm. fabric, so mm. I think that's going to look mm. really lovely. Mm. And there's so many nice colours in there that will pick out with all the jump jumpers that mum knits me and things. It's going to work really well with this one. So my nice grey owl jumper that you've mm. knit for me will look mm. lovely with this. So yes, I got three metres of this and it was seven pounds a metre. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And I went back the next day and looked at the other colourway and I was just like, no, behave yourself. Mm -hmm. So I did, I only bought this one, but it's lovely. But three meters, I should have enough for a couple of skirts, I think, because it's quite wide, it's 60 inches wide as well, so I should I should do, I should get a couple of things out of that. Well this is, um, 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 that's cotton, isn't it? Yeah, wearable muslin. It's it, very reasonable, isn't it? It was six pounds a meter from Montreux oh. Fabrics. Right. 
and um, very 60s. Yeah, <laughs> but I like those colours on you. Oh, I like those pretty. flowers and butterflies. Yeah. And I think we got five metres of this mm. with the intention of making that other McCall shirt dress. Yes. That I can't remember the number of, but it's a Palmer and Pletch one. And I will put up a photo of the one that we're planning for that. Again, mum refuses to wake, mu make muslin muslins. So they have to at least have some, some degree of prettiness to them. Mm. And... <laughs> Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> I, I try. I try. But the whole point of sewing uh, yeah, is, is to that enjoy you it. to enjoy it and yeah. to do what you want to do. So yeah. just because I say you have to do something or should do something doesn't mean that you actually no. have to do it. No. So you know it's probably you, wise usually to do what you're told or you end up with a hood. <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring that up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But alright, so yeah, that was from Poncho Fabrics who do have a store in Leicester and it's open on like the first Saturday of the month I think but they're always at the shows, always at the shows and they have some really 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 lovely fabrics at very reasonable prices don't they? Very reasonable. So I think the rest of this nice stuff... Nice guys that, too. Mm, the rest of the stuff that you've got here is from them I think. Mm. So yes, but there's that one. I'll do another one because I've got my piles a lot bigger than yours. Mm, yes. Um, this is from M. Rosenberg and Son and they said it was a Dolce & Gabbana fabric and no idea but it's got dragons on it so I was just like yes yes I need that and it's going to be a shirt of some description I I just I think that's gorgeous I think it's gorgeous and it was going to fit really nicely with the kind of colors that I want to be making in autumn so yeah shirt shirt from that one I've got a meter and a half of it I've got another M Rosenberg and Sun one here which I'll show you in a minute because it's it's the heaviest I bought this right at the beginning of the day and then had to carry it around till we went back for it oh, it was so heavy so so heavy but yes definitely worth it uh this i got from oh gosh what i got this and something else from a shop and i can't think what the name of the shop is you went back to it yes can't with, remember without me well i went back with re yeah but it's got bb8 on it <laughs> astro Astro Mech Droid, and I'm gonna make another shirt out of this, like a little cropped tie front shirt out of it, because it's just so cute. And it's got grey and orange and black in it, so I really like the idea of wearing this with grey trousers and like a, like a, a little sort of grey jumper or ca cardigan or something over the top. But I love BB-8, he is the cutest droid. And this, we're, we're swinging back and forwards between, between shops here, but this one is flamingos and zebras. And I've got um, one, uh, one and a quarter yards, and I asked for one and a quarter yards because it's going to be the Deer and Doe Melio shirt. <laughs> oh, right. And I asked for one and a quarter yards, and the guy chop, uh, cutting the fabric, this is from Montre Fabrics again, and he was just like, how old are you? And I was like, older than I look, but that's what the pattern calls for. So they really, really kindly uh, cut me one meter and 10 centimeters which is one and a quarter yards and they still only charged me eight pounds for it, <laughs> which was lovely of them uh, but yeah i saw this and and i've not made the melly low before so i decided that i want i want the short short sleeve version and i thought i would give it a go in this fabric because you bought that pattern yeah i did at the knitting and stitching show earlier this I year i don't think it would suit me and she's decided she doesn't like it so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a go and i'm gonna use this one yeah let's do a bit more of my my style because yours has gone really small really quickly so i've got this chunky um chenille type wool and i don't yeah there you go you can see it's animal print so it's <laughs> black, uh, sort of burgundy and gray and mum has agreed to knit me the owl sweater from this oh yes <laughs> her face is like have i have i are you <laughs> sure Yes, Mum, you agreed to meet me in an hour. Oh, so, oh here, and here's my pom poms from Toft. So, Mum knit me a lime green beanie, and that's going to go on the lime green beanie. And then I might try and talk her into making me another <laughs> beanie, and that's going to go on that one. So, I have pom poms as well. And then I bought really, really exciting stuff Wonderweb for hemming t shirts because. I got the Craftsy class for the cover stitch machine uh -huh. and she recommends that stuff for, for getting the hems nice and neat, neat and I thought you know what I shall do as I am told so Good idea. Uh, and I'm gonna as you all seen if you've watched the waffles the weekly uh, daily waffles I've got a whole bunch of t-shirts to make mm -hmm. do you think do you think I like Lisa Chandler fabrics <laughs> right so I was going around the whole show and I thought if anywhere I'm gonna find alphabet fabric 
it will be at the at the festival of quilts because you know mm -hmm. quilting and I couldn't find it anywhere. Everyone, I, all the the stores that I was going to, who specialised in ch children's fabrics and things, they're like, "Oh no, we don't, we don't have any uh, alphabet fabric, but we have the patterns to do applique alphabets." And it was like, "That's more work than I want to do." Uh, but then, very last day with Rianne, I found this panel, and it has all the animals on it with their with an alphabet. I think it's lovely. It's gorgeous. Absolutely charming. So, this is going to be for. You should probably have got two. It was ten pound for the panel. Really? Yeah. So I thought that was quite expensive. Mm. Um, but it's going to be. I bought some fabric earlier this year at the knitting and stitching show for my friend Noah, uh, my friend Selena's baby Noah, um, who Mum met. Yes. So because they they live just down the road from my uh, the mach the machine repair guy, so they very kindly let us come over for for a, a drink whilst we were dropping things off and waiting for things to be repaired. And so I've got lots of other bits and pieces to make his quilt, but mm. I, I really wanted the alphabet and I was going to embroider it. And then I thought, well, that's not really kind of conducive to being washed mm. loads, is it, mm. embroidery? Mm. Um, so then I found this and I'm very excited. So oh, it's going to be a really basic quilt because I've got panels of basically everything. And then I'm just going to sash in between the panels and mum's very kindly offered to quilt it for me. I don't know if you remember saying that. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm not springing it on her no, again. No. no. And so she said basic quilting, but around the animals' faces, you're going to make the animals look pretty, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I can get started on that now because I think I have everything I need. That's good. Yeah. Quilt number four. <laughs> and then, oh, what are you doing with all those pieces of yarn? Well, first off, so yeah. now I know it's I know it's Diane or Deborah. I think it's Diane. Diane is having her second. She's got two NCWs being made this month mm -hmm. and she wanted one in green and silver and she's bought this from Doughty's and had it sent to me. Um, so this one arrived this morning so I didn't buy this myself because the Doughty's didn't, again I wanted corduroy myself but Doughty's didn't have it at the show but they do have it online. And then where I got the BB-8 fabric I also found this, it's Slytherin fabric. So it's going to be very sort of grown up and gorgeous on the outside with all green and silver and then I'm going to put the Slytherin's uh, fabric crest, uh -huh. I'm going to put that inside the zipper pockets. <laughs> so it is going to be geeky but not overtly geeky but yeah so I, that's why I've kept this fabric out is because that's what that one's going with and the, the insides are going to be um, grey and green as well but then Slytherin's on the inside, on the oh, very inside. inside. So because she wanted, yeah, so I thought. I thought that would be quite cool. When I saw it, I was just like, oh, I must have that. It was five pounds for a fat quarter. It's really expensive. Wow. <laughs> I know, look. Wow. Five pounds for that much fabric. <laughs> so I think you probably will be, I'll be able to get the, um, I'll be able to get the zippy pockets inners. And I think you're gonna get a couple of key fobs in it as well because that I'm going to, mm. every spare scrap of that is going to get used. So, yes. So mum's got some Lisa Chandler fat quarters as well. Do you want to start on tying that so you can get, she can show them. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I went, I bought myself, she had these packs put together of six fat quarters for 20 pounds. And I bought myself a pack and then one extra fabric, uh, which is this lot here. I think I'm. I think I'm going to have to just bow to the inevitable and actually do close-ups of all of these so that I can include those for you. So this is a this is a whole matching set of fat quarters that I bought for bag making, and uh, I think probably NCWs. Mm -hmm. But just I again just I absolutely love her fabric. It's so so beautiful, and so I bought these, and then on. The second day, I put those on the first day, and then on the second day, I was just like, I was sitting there at lunch, and I'd spent all of my money except for six pounds, I think, and I was just sitting there, and I was like, really want those fat quarters, and mum was like, because I was having to save the rest of my money for my sewing machine, wasn't I? Mum mm -hmm. was like, mm -hmm. we can spot you the 20 quid. So I only got more! <laughs> so I got the silver and teal. 
teal or silver and turquoise colorway and mum's made a necessary clutch wallet out of this and I know it looks absolutely stunning so it was one of those ones where I was thinking about yours and I was just like oh because I'd gone back for some royal blue and gold and then I saw this and I was like no I want these ones so I got this set of fat quarters and she didn't have this in a bundle and the fat quarters were actually more expensive if you bought them singly but she very kindly was just like pick six and you can have it for 20 quid I'm like, thank you <laughs> So I got those and then and then as with every year that so far they've done for me they went and got me a present and they not me, me not me big bird and Jen and yeah. Um, Joe yeah and they got me um, a fat quarter bundle of Lisa Chum so it's so, another you got another bag going on there ooh, haven't you yes and the rest yeah. The, the funny thing was that we went back there at the beginning of the second day because we, we knew we wanted to buy fabric and we'd seen it the day before and we were, we were humming and hiring and I've actually got some fabric on order and she's going to send it to me because she didn't have enough at the show but we were hanging we were hanging around and looking and Joe and Big Bird had gone away and they kept coming back to come yeah. back and buy this and we were still there we were still there chatting we wouldn't leave because mum was wearing her dress on the day as well weren't you yes. the child the dress so they, yeah. they were chatting and taking photos and things yeah. and they kept they came back about three times <laughs> And they were like, just go! Uh, so, yes. Could be an Alabama jacket. You haven't got enough, though. And you'd want you'd want all of it to be the same, wouldn't I've you? I've got some other bits left from my other one. I still don't think that would be enough. No. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. So, yeah. Mum went... We, we went on Thursday and Friday this year. So, the first and second day. Um, because the VIP tickets for the Saturday had sold out. So, we could have gone... Friday and Sunday, but we wanted to do yeah um, two days in a row, didn't we? And if you're showing a quilt, they like you to go on the Thursday and the Sunday. Uh, Thursday, because that's when they let you know what's happened, and the Sunday to collect it. Right. So you were... So there was method in my life. Yes, because Mum also booked a course on Sunday. On the Sunday. So we went on the all together on the Friday, as th Thursday and Friday. We had Saturday off. Where we weren't going to go into Leicester, but we we all woke up in the morning at different. We all kind of sort of came down the stairs and looked at each other and just went, bit tired. Like, yeah, they said to me, "Do you really want to go to Leicester?" And I said, "Oh, don't you?" <laughs> but everyone's look of relief on their yes. face when we all just kind of realised that none of us really wanted to go, except that we you you'd already gotten ready, hadn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't tell like, me. No, but never mind. Um, never but mind. so yeah, on the on the final day, Mum went to do a course which is learning to make this jacket. It's an Alabama crazy jacket. It's not finished. Yeah. They we reckon need. we needed another day to be able to finish. But it's a long sleeve t-shirt that you chop up the front, you chop cut the down the front, cut the sleeves in the underarm, and then you cover it with your scraps. And you literally put nice um, stitching around each one. And you have to start with this shape in the middle. That's the Alabama. So I've got my nice stalk from my dress. Now you, you could use all her scraps or you could take your own. So we've got so many scraps. I took all my own autumny ones. There are so many of my dresses in here. Yeah. In fact, that's my dress. <laughs> that's my dress. I haven't that's made that dress. one yet. That, no, oh, that's, my, yeah. that's your dress. Yeah. That's your dress. Yes. Yeah. That's my dress. This is yours. That's your shirt. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a bag. <laughs> yeah, that was a top for a customer. <laughs> oh, but, and this was a waistcoat. Yeah, that was a waistcoat. There you that's are. a waistcoat too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a really good scrap buster. It's wonderful. Um, and it was such fun. But yeah. we didn't finish, unfortunately. So um, I brought it home to continue. Yes. Nobody finished. They reckoned we should put in the... Um, feedback what we felt of the day but also mention that actually another half day would have been good but yeah we, we'd sent her off in the morning with sat nav all programmed and <laughs> yeah. you need to go here parking booked and you did it all by yourself that's I right did, I did. and she came back and i got back yeah. Yeah. no she, you came back <laughs> yeah, voluntarily yeah, yeah yeah you guys if you watched the festival of quilts vlog that went up you guys know that uh, the lovely nancy sent me the ulysses trench coat pattern mm. and kit so I've got this gorgeous, I think it's a tensile twill, uh, in this lovely colour that Mum keeps saying is for her. <laughs> it's my colour. It's really not. It's for me. Mine. 
Um, but yeah, so that I picked that up from my manager. He took me out for dinner on Thursday night. So I got that delivered from my PO box and I've read the instructions and I love the instructions because it's all how to buy a spine dip to make every single, because it's unlined to Trent, the only top of it's lined. So oh. it's it's one of those ones that needs to look perfect inside and out. So I I really like the instructions on this one and I'm very much looking forward to making this. And I don't think I'll need to wake, make a wearable muslin for this because mm. uh, it's so loose and flowy. Mm. The only thing I'm gonna need to double check is the length of the sleeves and where the waist hits. But other than that, I can pretty much just jump straight in for this one. So I'm very excited about that. So thank you very much, Nancy. And I'm including that in this haul because it, it arrived at that time. It so did. it did, yeah. Right in the middle. Which was abs absolutely lovely. So thank you. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven left to show them. What have you got? You've got quite a bit. So let's do one of yours. Okay. I got this from, um, was it Bombay Stores? Where they have yes. the cheaper fabric. fabric. And, um, Again, I think it's probably a bit 60s, but it's I like it. I like the colours. And it, it was £2 a metre. So wearable muslin fodder, wasn't it? Definitely wearable muslin fodder. Okay. So I shall try this, which is the dress you keep telling me I should try. That I've got the pat bought the pattern in. We place it went in London. Oh, this vintage shirt dress. Yes. So over it, vintage shirt yes. dress. Yes. You kept saying I, I liked it on the... <gasps> No, I, I was... Was it the Eve one? The Eve, the Eve dress is what I'm wearing. Yes. Was it that? What was it? We... <laughs> I bought the pattern. No, I used. bought the pattern because it was your Mother's Day present. And oh, that's fabric. right. That's right. Yes. So it was the Sew Over it, um, Vintage Shirt Dress. Right. And I picked it up and I went, oh, Mum, do you like that? And she was like, yes, I've just picked that up and thought, oh, I like that. Yeah. And I said, well, I shall get that for you for Mother's Day, yeah. along with your 80 centimetres of fabric that she got um, <laughs> for this, which I still cannot believe you got that shirt dress oh, for that yes. amount of fabric. Oh. Um, but yes, and then she, <laughs> she brought it home and I showed her again. And she went, I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> You're terrible. Yeah. You're terrible. But I do think you will. And yes, two pound a metre. That would be a good one. That to would make, be a good it? one to give it a go. Mm -hmm. And I know Lauren, you're going to say that she needs to raise the neckline because the, all the net sew over it dress uh, necklines are quite low. And oh, uh, yes. Because that, I the Leah dress. I, I don't like. Yeah, you didn't like it on the Leah dress. So yes, we will take that into account. Don't Thank worry. You. <laughs> They're looking out for us. <laughs> They're looking out for us. But yeah. yes, that was from Bombay Stores. And then these last two fabrics that you've got there were these from Montreux <coughs> Fabrics. Yes. Yes, just two shirts, blouses. This blouse that you're wearing. Um, we well, only bought a metre of it, so... Yes, the, this blouse that I'm wearing. <laughs> Winter. It's the, it's the same print, but just two different colourways. Mm. So, yes. Mm. I think that's and it's a lovely blouse, and you can do the same thing. You can mm. you can use a contrast collar on it if you if you yes. need. So yeah. you know, I'm making one at the moment with Sean's remnants from her grey from Lynette. Yeah, mm. uh, the prim pre pe prim peonies fabric. Yes, it's lovely. It's really lovely. Nice and you to don't work with. you don't usually like grey, do you? No, I don't. So, no. Yes, that was quite quite surprising. Yeah. Right, let's show you this one. This one I'm really excited about. Uh, this is from M Rosenberg and Son and I've got to wash all these later so it doesn't matter that they're gonna get messed up but how Dolce and Gabbana is that? <laughs> oh it's gorgeous. And what are you gonna make? Right I bought five meters of it and Dolce and Gabbana have done loads of this kind of um, print for this this season and they've actually got Dolce & Gabbana written just around the roses and I might go in and just embroider a little KB here and there, I like that idea. Um, but I'm going to make a dress out of this. Now it is actually quite light fabric, except when it's on mass. Mm. On mass it's heavy and it's it's a twill. Um, or oh, it's got that kind of twill. You can make a coat. I, I did think about that, but like I said earlier, all my dresses are so patterned. Yeah. The patterned coats then get very difficult, and I yeah. have a really nice evening coat, that Green yeah. Roses one. So I think I'm going to make a dress, t 
tea length dress could be the so la -di da destiny dress i'm not 100 percent sure as yet but i bought five meters because i was just like well that's my now go-to length of fabric that i buy but it is absolutely stunning i love this i love this so much they had a pit one with pink roses on a white background that was slightly stretchy which i was very tempted by as well but with th this and the dragon fabric i spent 80 pounds with them so it was just like that was the first five minutes that they'd left in the front door so mm -hmm. i thought pace yourself not that i did and who was that rosenberg and rosenberg and mm -hmm. yeah it was one of the first things that we bought mm -hmm. that's right so i'm gonna i'm just you know the rest of these are kind of nicely folded this one is not mm -hmm. They were great fun there too. They're lovely. Yeah, it's like really a proper nice. market stall, isn't it? Yeah, they're lovely. And um, absolutely, they lovely. work really hard, and they know everybody's names, and everybody knows them, and they're like, "Oh, I've got something that will work really well for you," and they sort of dig things out. So they're they're really lovely, and you can get them online. Uh, it's, if you type in M Rose and Bergen Sun, it will come up with their shop name, but it is something different online. But again, I will link it down below. As you know, I'm uh, planning a dragon quilt for my brother-in-law this year will be my quilt project and um, I bought the backing managed to pick the most expensive backing mm. out of the pile didn't we well, yeah it was yeah unfortunately but you didn't want anything you didn't want butterflies for Patrick did you no you didn't want you wanted no, it to be fairly manly yes yeah, so. and I can use it in the quilt yes, as well definitely it's the right right colors so I think it'll be really nice it'll be lovely and yeah, I lovely. bought the threads, some more embroidery, some more embroidery thread. threads, browns, and this one which is really interesting, it's a sort of King Tut type thing, oh it is King Tut. Yeah, it's variegated. And it's, yeah, that's going to work really well for that quilt. Mm, I think so. Yeah. This is from Fabrics Galore, and I saw it at the Knitting and Stitching show and didn't buy it, and then, so I bought myself some of this this time. It is their canvas and I'm going to make cushions out of it. Having said that, on their stand, they had this in the gray colorway. They'd made a bomber jacket out of it, oh. and it was gorgeous. Mm. It was absolutely it was gorgeous. gorgeous, and I saw that after I bought this, and it was just so, ooh. But I have said jackets probably ought not to be really, really patterned, and um, my house does need a bit of a, a makeover because I have very few cushions left. I need to hem my curtains. I need a laundry bag. And I think I'm going to have one of those months where I just do all of those kind of projects, <laughs> make all my cushions, do because I've got some stuff to embroider on. But yes, this and sort of teal green velvet um, is going to be it's going to be the theme. And I love, as you all know, I like leaves. I like leaves a lot. And with that project in mind, I'd gone looking for some white denim to embroider on because. I wanted something heavyweight that wasn't going to pucker because the embroidery I wanted to do was quite dense. But I couldn't find that anywhere. And so I bought this sort of off-white, creamy coloured needle cord from Bombay Stores and I got two metres for five pounds. And I'm going to embroider on that and then patchwork around the outside of the, quilt, of the cushions and I, that will tie in really nicely mm. with those. So that's the plan for that. So not overly exciting, but very useful, and it will be exciting when I finished with it. I um, saw this embroidery on place, and I've been talking about making a nightdress. Because <laughs> I just fancy a nightdress. And um, it's really pretty. It's got a lovely edge. It's got a double border as well. Double That's border, nice. yes. So, so, yes, I shall have to find a pattern or make one. <laughs> Yeah, that could be interesting. That could be interesting. Well, this yeah. was from Bombay Stores as well, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so it wasn't expensive, but it's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. It's better than nice. Yes. Might even have enough to make a blouse or something. Mm, possibly. No. Possibly. Don't know how much did you buy. About that much. <laughs> I've got a few. I've got a few more here. So and then we're done. Mm -hmm. We're done. I've got buttons to show you. Ooh. Got some buttons. But yes. So the this is from Montreux Fabrics, and I got two meters of it. It was eight pounds a meter. It is a brocade with some gold in it. And for as much as I was saying jackets should be yeah. plain, this is this evening. is going. This is going to be like a little cocoa jacket, and I. Yeah, I, I just, I really liked it. I think we might even be getting something like this for uh, Joe's husband to make a waistcoat out of yes, his cruises they, they as well. Yes, something similar. I'm not going to take this out of its little packet 
now because it's fraying everywhere but i will take it out of this packet and film a close-up for you so this is for a evening ncw and it is a chinese silk and it's really really heavy and it's beautiful but it is literally you look at it and it disintegrates so i will i'll do a close-up but uh, i bought that so these arrived whilst i was away but i am going to include them in this haul because they were bought at the same time this is from the textile center it is rayon or viscose they're viscose and uh, this one I actually ordered in a different colorway and I ordered five meters of it and they emailed me and said we're really sorry We've sold out of it and they've refunded it for me But then they've actually sent me whatever they had left of a different colorway and it's gorgeous And there's enough here for an Ogden cami. So this will be an Ogden cami at some point in the future Then the one that I'm wearing I've clearly made into a sew over eve dress. I love it uh, Dad also liked this so the other three meters of this have gone into dad's stash for a shirt for him so yeah i was going to with the other three meters of this one i was going to make some beach pajamas but dad likes it so it's in his stash for that <laughs> so i bought it in the red gray and black colorway so this is going to be beach pajamas i saw this on uh, lynn from aussie blackbeard she got it in the terracotta colorway and she'd made a self-drafted dress out of it which was gorgeous and I think I was going to make, I've got three meters of this, I was going to make a sew over at Eve dress, but I think this could be a wearable muslin fodder for the sew over at Doris dress. Mm -hmm. I really like that one and I've not made it yet and I think it would look really nice in this fabric. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that one. And uh, apart from the buttons. Oh, buttons. <laughs> that's it. I went on a button hunt because I'm running out for all these cardigans and things. I found these ones which are really pretty. Yeah, this is from the Eternal Maker. So I was, I, there was a lady buying all of the fabric before I was for a quilt, wasn't there? Yes. And um, I was queuing up to say thank you because she'd sponsored So Southampton. Mm. And mum was like, Ugh. and I said, look at these buttons. And she came back and she went, oh, all of these. <laughs> there was 38. So she's got 38 of these little coconut buttons, which are very, very cute. And then this was from a vintage shop, wasn't it? Yes. Simply vintage designs. They had loads of like lace and bits and pieces like that. You, you found two sets from them, didn't you? Didn't you? Was it just this one set? Just the one. Oh, yeah. So one set from them. And then these are wood. So they're like the coconut buttons. Yes. But for a cardigan. Yeah. They're really pretty. These are sort of a rose gold or Copper. Stuff. Yeah. Copper. I thought they'd be useful for shirts and. They're very like domed cardigans yes. and, or pointy domes. And then some. And this was another one where we were buying something and you were just searching through this one box for all this particular colourway of yes. buttons. And she was just sitting there and she was like, if, like picking over and like, oh, found what? <laughs> I found two colourways. <laughs> They're very pretty. Yeah. Very for pretty. shirts, really. Yeah. I, li I like shell buttons yeah. on, on everything, really. Yeah. That's um, me done. Yeah. So yes, that's our uh, last huge shopping spree for the year. We, yes. do, we do two a year, knitting and stitching show in March mm -hmm. or the beginning of the spring one and then we go to the Festival of Quilts in August mm -hmm. and then theoretically we behave ourselves for the rest of, well you that's do, you do. I do. <laughs> She's so much better than me. Well yeah, but I don't do as much as you. <laughs> this is true, this is true. Actually everybody enjoyed watching, uh, having a look at Nia's stash so much, we might have to do one of those videos, go through your yes. stash, because there's stuff in there you haven't seen. Mm -hmm. So yes, and there's not too much now that I've reorganised it and put everything where it's meant no, to it be. Looks... Although having said that, <laughs> yeah. once this is washed, yeah. there will be much more. Yeah. Yes. But, yeah, I really hope you... It's less intimidating now. Yeah, well, again, we've got to wash it all and put all this stuff away. Yeah. It's going to grow again. It'll yeah. be fine. It'll be fine. So, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!